The world's plastics problem is out of control. If it keeps piling up, plastics in the ocean could outweigh fish by 2050. Plastic is difficult and sometimes impossible to recycle, and it doesn't break down naturally. But a team of scientists have stumbled on a discovery that could change the way we deal with plastic forever. So this is the biochemistry lab, and uh, this is where everyone's working. So we followed a Japanese study that came out about two years ago where they made this startling discovery of a bacteria that lives off plastic in a recycling dump. Um, essentially, this bacteria has uh, evolved to eat plastic and it produces an enzyme that breaks down plastic into its original components. So that's really where our story began. We wanted to find out how this enzyme worked. And by just fiddling about with the DNA sequence, uh, we accidentally made a, a more efficient enzyme that's about 20% faster than the natural enzyme. Science is a bit like that. You, you do the experiment, you, never, you can predict what might happen, but often you're wrong. So what we can see at the moment, if you take a, a, a plastic bottle, a fizzy drinks bottle, and you, you put it in a, a test tube with some of our enzyme, it will start digesting away the surface over a couple of days. Seeing if we can identify some of our protein that we've expressed through our mammalian cell lines. So Excellent. We're going to do some experiments Great stuff. Today. If we can do this with a fast enough enzyme with, on a bigger scale, you can imagine collecting plastic and what would happen is the solution would go clear as the building blocks were broken down. So you'd have this clear solution of chemicals that you can then remake plastic with. I think there's been a huge amount of doom and gloom stories around plastics and justifiably because it's a terrible environmental scourge. But this is a story where we've got some hope that we can actually put together. And my email box has now got 500 unread emails with companies saying, can we work with you? Can we help? Certainly since this story came out, um, I could count the number of hours I've slept on one hand. 